Hi, this is Chris Angelini. I'm the managing editor of Tom's Hardware, and today we're here to review Intel's Core i7-980X, uh, formerly known as Gulf Town. Uh, the Gulf Town design is based on Intel's new 32 nanometer manufacturing technology. Uh, the smaller transistors give us more room on the die to increase complexity. So now we have a six core processor with 12 megs of L shared L3 cache, and that gives us more compute power for threaded applications versus the quad core 8 meg components that currently filled out the i7 900 series family. So Gulf Town, like Intel's previous Nehalem chip uh, processors, employs Turbo Boost technology. Turbo Boost gives you a couple hundred extra megahertz of frequency when the thermal headroom is available. Gulf Town also features hyperthreading technology, which allows the six core design to present 12 logical processors uh, to the operating system. So when you pop open the task manager, you, you see 12 threads rather than six. It's not equivalent to having 12 physical cores, but there is a boost associated for, uh, for programs that can take advantage of the extra threads. So one of the, the real strong aspects of Gulf Town is that it drops into the LGA 1366 interface. Well, now you can get an X58 based platform for $150-$200 and with a BIOS update the same boards that supported Bloomfield quad-core chips previously can now take Gulf Town. So if you had a platform already built, then you can just drop it in there without having to buy new memory, new motherboard. So the enthusiast who is going to be interested in buying a Gulf Town is going to be uh, the person who has money to spend, is already running multiple SSDs, uh, an SLI or Crossfire-based uh, multi-GPU configuration, and, uh, you know, it's, it's the Ferrari analogy. I mean, it's, it's the, the car you want. Uh, not everybody can afford it, but if you can, that's the top of the line. Now, for the folks who are looking at that uh, 980X on the showroom floor and saying, I, I, like, I love what it can do, but I, I need to scale back, then we've also recommended the Core i5-750, which has a lot of the same architectural capabilities, sports four cores, and, and does really well in gaming specifically, but also in the video encoding stuff as well. That's a good value alternative for the sub-$200 price point. 